Good morning everybody, Ryan at New Moon Telescopes and I woke up this morning to a special treat from a friend. So it looks like a little birdie has left me a goodie on my 20 inch primary mirror. So I need to clean this off. I wanna make a video on how I clean my mirrors in a New Moon Telescope. Okay, so first we have tools of the trade. We have a little bit of Dawn dish detergent. We have distilled water, two spray bottles, Got about four paper towels here and I just fold it up into a small square. And then cotton balls. So what we'll do is we'll fill one of the squirt bottles with just distilled water. And then we'll put mostly distilled water and then just a couple squirts of Dawn dish detergent in one bottle. Shake it up. Okay, so that's where we're gonna start. Then we'll take a towel and I'm gonna put a towel inside the base of the rocker box to catch the runoff so I don't get my rocker box wet. The idea is leave your primary mirror in the telescope at all times. The more you take this out, the more bad things can happen. Leave it in there, it's protected in there and it's safe. So that's the ideal situation. Okay, let's get this party started. I'm going to first just take the regular distilled water. Let's move our mirror clips so that they're not over the face of the primary. And let's just spray it down with some distilled water. Go ahead and get good and wet. Try to keep most of the water on the mirror here. Okay, so I've got it good and wet. Now I'm going to take my distilled water with soap. I'm going to start spraying at the top. And you'll see it's running off. It's already eaten that bird poop away, so that's kind of exciting. I like to get it good and wet. This is another way to clean to conserve water also. And keep in mind, you can do this at a star party. You can do it, you know, like I'm doing it right here on my porch. Just about anywhere. Okay, so now I've got it good and wet. I'm going to start with my cotton balls. And I'm just going to hold maybe one or two cotton balls. And I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to make little round Spokes, so to speak, from the center of the mirror out. Okay, so after about four or five of those spokes, I'm just going to throw that cotton ball down. I'm going to grab a couple more. I am not cleaning extremely aggressive. This isn't much more weight than the cotton ball. But as I feel like I'm getting drier, I'm gonna go ahead and put some more soap down. I don't wanna dry clean. I don't wanna rub this mirror while it's dry. That's never a good thing. I remember where I left off. Gosh, I may have waited too long for that bird poop. I've never had a bird poop on my mirror, so this is a this is a first for me. New cotton ball. I can see that bird poop still underneath my, my clean here. It's making me nervous. Okay, done. And as you can see, I'm changing cotton balls constantly. You can look at the cotton ball. If it looks dirty at all, I'll change it.
Okay, I think I got the whole mirror. A little more Dawn. Okay. Now, we're gonna rinse the knot off with the distilled water. Start at the top. Again, trying to get most of the water right here on the mirror, not in the box. But if it's a new moon telescope, it's not gonna hurt the inside of the box. Most of your telescopes, it shouldn't, as long as it's painted or finished inside. If it's metal, you can always worry about a little bit of rust. But since I use stainless steel, I'm not worried about that either. And I'm filming, so I'm just trying to do this from one side. If I were doing it without the camera, I might go to each side as it gets easier to clean on that side from the opposite side of the telescope. It looks like I have a whole bunch of soap left on there. I can still see this one little streak where the bird poop was. It may have actually got into my aluminum coating a little bit. We'll see when it's dry and I'm not the type of person that's going to stress over that on my own instrument if it did, because I know that that's not going to affect the view at all. But I do like a clean primary mirror, reason being when you're looking at brighter objects like the planets, the moon, a lot of times when you notice all that glow around the object, that can be from a really dirty mirror. Now I wouldn't advise cleaning your mirror every time you go out and observe. But a couple times a year, maybe three times a year, doesn't hurt. Just remember to never be over aggressive on the cleaning, on the scrubbing, and always clean wet. But this is the way to do it with the mirror still in the telescope. I find it to be extremely fast, very efficient, and we don't use a lot of water. I mean, I remember putting them in tubs and they would sit there forever. I'm gonna grab some towel. So I've got my little paper towel, now I'm just going to pat dry. Fold it again, go on the inside here. And that's it. You don't see any really big drops. The rest of those really, really small drops, they're going to dry with the air and everything. I would just leave it tilted like this. If I was at a star party, I would turn it to where the back was going toward the wind so that the wind isn't blowing on the surface. Then you can uh, go ahead and put your mirror box cover over it 
and just let it dry out. You're going to be ready to observe. But that is the uh, that's the quickest and one of the easiest ways to clean a primary mirror. And now you just got a few cotton balls to throw away. You want to fill up your distilled water again and uh, bring it with you to the next star party. So thanks for watching. This is New Moon Telescopes. Please check our website out when you have an opportunity.